Ahoy, 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 everyone. How's everybody doing? Happy Sunday and happy day after Halloween. Happy, happy Dia, no, happy, but Dia de los Muertos is yep. today. Um, and we are having our Halloween hangover show. We are. As it was dubbed last week. We ate all the candy. We ate all the candy. Well, now, in fairness, we got the Halloween candy a week early, so we spaced it out over the course of the week, and there wasn't much left by last night, <laughs> but we ate all of it, <laughs> and we had mint chocolate chip milkshakes. And we had mint chocolate chip milkshakes, and yeah, so it was a, it was a, an interesting Halloween, that's for sure. Yep. <laughs> we put our friend Bonaby the Skeleton in the front window with a spooky green light on him. So. Yes, yes. So, yeah, I'm definitely having, like, the kind of sugar crash day. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. why? So I'm adding some sugary coffee into the mix, because a little hair of the dog. The mad, mad teacup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I hope everybody had an, <laughs> an awesome Halloween. We had a... Um, we had... A very in you know hung out inside Halloween yeah um, we we sort of ramped up slowly in the ha Halloween entertainment but we ended up with John Goodman um, oh yeah we checked in out in Cloverfield, Cloverfield Lane which was like supposedly was, the backup wow. it was I like I don't yeah, I know cool. a lot I liked of people it. didn't like it because they were expecting something else but I thought it was it, it was, was cool well he's fun. such a good actor anyway he's super creepy yep it was creepy. creepy. I enjoyed it. I had fun. And it was, you know, it's one of these, like, something and something else. Yep. And another thing. You never know. <laughs> so that was very Halloween-y. Yes. So that was very Halloween. So let's see. What have we got today? We have our, um... I have a pin I don't fully understand, but if anyone else wants to fill me in on this character, um, I may have worn this before. This is from Brother Bear... And there's that fellow, and he looks like he's sitting in front of a K. I don't know, but he's cheerful. He's very cheerful. So that's who I'm wearing today. Very nice. And I am... Wearing this um, oh, how Mickey very Mouse. It's very thick, Mickey. It's go yeah, it's my goth Mickey black on black. Although, interestingly, I am wearing a um, right navy blue t-shirt today. And not a black t-shirt. Not black, I know. Wow. However, it's still spooky. It's pretty cheerful for you. Ish. Yeah, <laughs> I think I, sh I may have shown this up when I first got it, but it's this it's cool. awesome um, Dungeons & Dragons t-shirt. Look, there's a beholder. Yeah. Where is it? Right there. Beholder. <laughs> and all kinds and of fun stuff. You can't have a dungeon without a dragon. Without a dragon. Um, anyway, I love this little, I love this t-shirt. It's super fun. Anyway. Well, I guess you can, but then you wouldn't get the dragon's treasure. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Um, so let me see. Um, let's say hi to everyone. Let's say hi to everybody. Um, the bear's name is Coda, says uh, Mar uh, Maraid. Oh, Coda. Thanks, Maraid. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if that's K for Coda. Right, I yeah. would think so. Well, I don't <laughs> I think know. I always think of Coda like at the end, you know, with a C. Yeah. Um, so who's who's with us today? Oh, so let's see. Hello, to we got Apples is here. Ben the Traveler. Brett Hooper. Hey, Brett, how's it going? Um, Brickanista is here. Brickaroo Bonsai. Uh, Bricks Edu. Uh, uh, Cowboy Cornado. Hey. Ahoy, howdy. Um, and yes, and welcome, Bricks Edu. I don't I know. know. I don't think we've seen you here before, name. but welcome. Um, see you later is here. Holly is here. Yay, Holly. Um, Hooded one. Uh, Jedi Rob Frost. John Latrell. Johnny Cat. Hi, Johnny. Uh, Joshua Steele is here. Lisa Head. Hey, Lisa Head. Uh, Maraid Walsh. We know Maraid. Yay, Maraid. Um, Marilyn Parmley and the Parmleys. How's it going? Mini Fig Chick and Paint Pusher. I'm sure is there too. Monica Berry. Moto. Patrick Wismer. Remy Baker. Rob, Rob Zaccardi and the Zaccardis. Um, hello. Smoke Up Johnny is here. The Hornburgers. Ahoy, hoy, Hornburgers. Um, WGJL Builds. Uh, Wilfred is here. Bonsoir. Hey, Wilfred. Uh, Zach Highmark is here. Hey, Zach. It's been a little while. How's it going? Good to see you. And Zach Martinez. We've got both Zachs here today. This is good. And, and of course, Zarekino. Zarekino. Kim. Parentheses, Kim. Parentheses, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Mr. Elmo Man just showed up. Oh, How's it awesome. going, Mr. Elmo Welcome. Man? Good to see you. Um, 
So golly. Um, oh, you have the whole family here too. Very good, Monica. That's um, Amper Up is there too. Oh, hey, nice. how's it going? Very good. And I'm gonna um, get my my chairs in your yeah, way. Well, it's the, we have we're today. having competing um, chair arms. Chair arms. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We went for comfort. Look, I'm not even wearing a button-up shirt. I'm in comfortable thermal because it was chilly this morning. Very good. Oh, Debo Bricks is here too. Hey, Debo. Yeah, Sundays are, you know, I think with lots of people going back to work and stuff, Sundays are starting to be like the days when everybody is uh, is able to be here all at the oh, same time, right. which, is, which is nice. It's like having, you know, Sunday dinner, Sunday brunch with friends. Like Sunday brunch, yeah. We had a good breakfast. We had roasted potatoes with andouille sausage. Yeah, I think good. this ends up sort of being more like a, a coffee clutch, if you will. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, we're doing our part with the coffee. Uh, let's see. Yes. Who, uh, what, how, where? Oh, okay, yes. Why don't we welcome our friends? Why don't we welcome our friends? Uh, now, let's see... Uh, Let's get them all in here, shall we? We have, of course, our regulars. Uh, Moto is here. Hi, Moto. Hey, Moto. And Kara is here. Uh, <laughs> 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 Yay! Well, happy Sunday. <laughs> oh, so true. Oh, no. <laughs> so true. Nice. <laughs> oh, I right needed on. that this morning. Wow. Excuse me, Ooh. I'm gonna get a tissue. All right. Oh my goodness. Whoo. Mmm. Well, cheers to that, because that's how I feel. You look how I feel. Oh my goodness. Um. Oh my goodness. All right. Well. Well, well, well. So, um, how was y'all's Halloween's? <laughs> I mean, I think we see how I think we see how Cars Halloween was. How about you, Moto? I know you had some Halloween adventures with a tiny art director. Hang on one second. I've we've got some. Uh, they're saying we can't hear you all of a sudden. Uh-oh. Uh, so, yeah, they can't hear either of you. So I'm gonna, give me a second, I'm gonna yeah, we're check gonna on this. Look at the audio feed. Oh, really? Oh, I heard a brief echo. No audio, okay. Okay. All right, hang on, everybody. We're gonna yes. we're gonna figure this out. I can see that their volume is not coming through the um, through here. So let me just double check. Marilyn see Parmley. what's going on. Marilyn Parmley, I'm right there with you about Cara's Reese's. Oh my goodness, they're so good. Um, look at the variety of different kinds of candy represented there. How's that? Can you hear? Can how about? Can you guys try talking now? Testing. One, two, three. Ha ha ha. Halloween. There we uh, go. Uh, it looks like it's yay, working now. Yay, Very good. All right. Yeah, I think it's because we see um, we we're Bluetooth? using Richard's Bluetooth um, headphones for the first time to see if we can get that to work, so we're not yep. wrestling. I know with this with a wire cable in between us. Uh, and of course, um, I I checked um, like a million settings. I check a million settings before every show, and that's like the one I didn't check because I didn't think we need to. But there we go. Yay, so, Monica Berry! Thank you for the heads up. Um, Yay. Yay! Very good. Yay! Like we're here. Yes, we're going going back to the well, there's your days. technical bingo. Uh, yeah, there's your technical bingo. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always Taking audio. It's early. always an audio bingo. It is funny though. Oh, right, and Kevinator's here too. Hey, Kevinator, how's it going? Oh, my goodness. So, we were, anyway, we were saying that you, um, Moto, had adventures with Small Art Director uh, last night for Halloween. So, tell us about that. 
Well, the day started early, so my child's a bit different. He gets up for Halloween at 3 a.m., it turns out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> poor thing. Yeah, early he was, bird. He was psyched, so he was bouncing around, and um, so I hear all this thumping and crashing around 3 in the morning. Uh, I go to his room, and I say, what is going on? And he said... I'm doing my I'm doing a pre Halloween workout because you have to you have to be fit and ready to walk the block. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so he was doing his he was doing his PE schoolwork uh, warm ups at three in the morning with jumping jacks and other things that cause a, a ton of noise. Um, oh my goodness! Yeah, we uh, the setup took all day and cleared out a bunch of stuff to make sure kids could get to our door if they needed to. I installed a cardboard chute to deliver, you know, the candy down a little tube uh, to anyone who <laughs> wanted it. And, um, yeah, by the evening, uh, we went out and walked the block, I think it was for an hour and a half, maybe two hours. It was really dead. It was really quiet. It was a really quiet, weird, strange Halloween. And yeah. for the most part, um, everything was really well done with the neighborhood. There, I think there was only two cases where... Uh, people are kind of sketchy in the way they were handing out candy, but my son, being my son, uh, you know, they'd say, you have to come up to the bowl, and they weren't wearing a mask, so he he went <gasps> really dramatically, held his breath, <laughs> held his nose, ripped up to the doorway, grabbed the candy, and then sprinted back, and then very dramatically <laughs> would go, <gasps> thank you. Awesome. Oh my goodness, yeah. that's hilarious. <laughs> Um, that was that was so, evening. It was it was okay. So, it's kind of it was strange, but it was all right. So does somebody have the show on in the background that they're watching on YouTube and don't and has the volume on? Because I I keep hearing sort of repeats. Yeah, I heard that's a little bit, but I killed sure. it. Ah, oh, okay. uh, righto. Got it. Got it. Go on, babe, babe, can you maybe turn it down a click or two? There we go. Moto, yeah. I I appreciated the rigging on your candy shoot. I thought that was really cool. Yes, yes. Like the way the <laughs> end was supported and the whole thing, I thought was a very um, it it made a really wonderful Halloween installation. Didn't you have skeletons yeah. or something? Uh, no skeletons, but what I do is that maxi fig costume I set up in the front yard. As long as there's oh, no that's rain right. or snow or high winds, yeah. So maxi fig was out there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so Mexi Fig was out there. That was the only decoration I think we had up, as well as, um, just the, we have, you know, spooky little, the, you know, the candles leading up and the, how, you know, just lanterns and stuff up to guide the kids into the, in, in through the yard. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, we didn't hey, have Apple the best TV delivery is system, here. though. How's it one going, person, Apple yeah, one person constructed this big... Uh, they hung like this big <clears throat> nylon rope mechanism down from their second story balcony and they were they had this like shuttle that would slide down and deliver the candy and then slide back up and it was, it was a whole <laughs> it was a whole mechanism that we had to experience it was pretty wild and cool that's awesome i want to do i would want to do one like the old school like office where you would have like the string with the clip on it and then you put the clip on it and you just like whip it and like send it down <laughs> send the string down and then just crank it back up afterwards I'd that's what they did that. yeah they had a return string that they could shuttle everything back and forth <laughs> pretty, pretty, awesome. cool. pretty cool that's I, awesome. thought, I thought on youtube yesterday someone had made a candy pulp like with a paper plate and then you just put the candy in and catapulted yeah, <laughs> wow. yeah. yeah there was a couple houses that had perfected the candy yeet where they were just like pitching it from six to eight feet away and then you try to catch it in the in the bucket That's awesome. so that was cool too <laughs> <laughs> like hot dogs at a ballpark <laughs> almost yeah there you go <laughs> candy oh, cannon just... Yeah, so you just need a t-shirt cannon and stuff yeah. it with candy and then injure people as they go by. Ow! I know. Ow! Ow. That was a payday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Orange Bricks is here. Hey, Orange Bricks, welcome. How's it going? Um, yeah, hopefully everybody's checked their insulin levels this morning after that evening. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm I'm just adding to it. I'm just adding more sugar on top of it. More I, sugar. I was like a hummingbird landed on the couch. You know, just like, 
between the milkshake and the candy, it was definitely milkshake. sugar. We made, sugar yes, crushed. we had my favorite. Flynn the other day got my favorite mint chocolate chip ice cream. And we had some left and we made it into milkshakes. Nice. Yeah, it was really good. Except for at the end, there was just like a huge pile of chocolate chips at the bottom of the glass, which I, I guess there's worse <laughs> things, but still, oh, I was like. A great oh. outcome. <laughs> I, I just, just scraped them all out. It was a smooth. bonus treasure. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I passed out on the couch with chocolate chips <laughs> and empty <tea> glass. <laughs> Look who's here. Um, oh yes, look who's here. Let's Ooh. let us let Do us. Um, yeah, Ooh. we have uh, we Ooh. have Holly. Holly is here. Um, Ding dong. Hi Holly. Hello. Hi Holly. Ahoy, hi. Hi. Hey, Ahoy, so, hi. so we were just talking about all of our hi, various Halloween adventures or non-adventures. So what was it like? Um, so Moto was telling us about some of the. Um, ingenious candy delivery methods people had built um for you know for to keep away you know to keep socially distanced so i'm wondering i know you live in a pretty family neighborhood so how was that like for you uh yeah it was interesting we didn't we didn't particularly do anything fancy as far as distributing candy we just put a basket out like we have a retaining wall way well away from our front door so we put a uh basket of candy out like way out by the driveway and just hung like suspended a thing of purell from it uh-huh pretty pretty simple and effective i think and we actually got a lot of trick-or-treaters i think because uh we like pinned our house on the map for having decorations oh. and stuff like, oh on got it oh okay so we, saw so really a lot, we saw a lot of cars like doing drive-bys and stops and um and then we realized that people were still coming up to the front door so we put another bowl of candy it was like a zombie head with a cavity in the top <laughs> yeah. so we put that one brains <laughs> well, yeah, you had colorful um, lighting right <coughs> you had she had it all done up you had colorful lighting too yeah yeah i re i i just i that's like that's like the whole point right it's just a lighting yeah. exercise <laughs> uh, that's what i think <laughs> yeah. Well, so... <laughs> but we did we did do the rounds. We we live on a loop, so we we looped around the neighborhood. Um, we had like like four houses kind of near us that were all kind of decorated and and all had different ways of distributing candy. And then like the rest of the like half mile loop, there was like not a single house. So it was really interesting. Mm -hmm. That was just this one little concentrated spot in the neighborhood that seemed to to still be participating. Um, but one house was pr was pretty epic the guy had said i didn't get close enough like i wasn't wearing a mask so we stayed out in the street and we just let the kids uh go get their candy um but from what i could tell this guy had set up like a like an animatronic skeleton or something at the front door uh -huh. like out on his porch <laughs> and he must have had a speaker in it or something that the owner that the guy was like talking through so when the kids approached he knew they were there and he would start talking to the kids and the skeleton's mouth was like moving and everything. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so and, awesome. And, he, and I think he had like a little chart of candy selection so you could actually like order your, whichever candy you wanted and then oh, he would cute. send it down the street. <laughs> Oh, wow! Awesome. To go, please. All right. Yeah, that's hi yeah. that's high tech. Yeah, they was gonna say yeah. they just needed like a big, a big like you know zombie head with a, a speaker in the mouth that you could talk into to tell them what. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, one, we had one one house did the ring doorbell, and so it was like this this because we're like I guess nobody's home, and all of a sudden I hear this voice of like, "Hi there," and we're both like, yeah. "Where, where is this coming from?" <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool yeah we didn't do we had like a no doorbell policy no like knocking on the door it was just we would just kind of walk we we kind of stuck to the sidewalk and if we could see candy that was set out on a table or something they could go get some but there wasn't there wasn't much we had a lot of trick-or-treaters though i mean i filled up those baskets a, a couple of times good cool yeah. Fun. yeah well, yeah, we well, well and of city, course so there's no trick-or-treaters right we're in a part yeah. of the city oh um, right right but, um, yeah, the same we, here. Like we, I mean, we live yeah. in a little bit more neighborhoody, a neighborhoody area of a city, but it's still 
We've never had a lot of. Um, we've never only, had trick or treaters. We've had really. years, maybe two or something like that. But you know, because of those two trick or treaters, you have to get all that. I mean, you have Halloween to buy the candy, candy, right? Halloween candy anyway, just in case. And we still bought too. We still bought too much. Like I went, I kind of started second guessing <laughs> it and then got a second bag yesterday, just in case. Like, you know, I figure we'll we'll use it. Although, you know, the the trick is. <laughs> To buy the kind of candy that you can reuse for like gingerbread houses or something for all the leftovers. Right, oh. that's a really good yeah, idea. We we, we were not able to to do something which I really like enjoy giving out, which is um, uh, we buy these like three dollar bundle bags at thrift stores, uh -huh. and usually there's a ton of little stuffies or uh, super balls or whatever it is, and then. Um, you know, we sanitize them all, wash them all, uh, do the right thing, and then we put them in baskets by age, depending on the trick-or-treater. So anybody who comes to our house normally, they get a choice of either a toy or, you know, the full candy bar if they want it. And, you know, most of the yeah. time, um, the, the, the kids and the parents have learned that uh, they've been conditioned to go to the house that gives away toys. <clears throat> <laughs> well, I uh, well, I gotta, I gotta say, right. uh, yeah, that's pretty. Of course, that's that's pretty cool. I gotta say, you get a, you get the pick, and I and I love that you um that you wash and sanitize everything. That's so awesome because you know a lot of people. Would just yeah, put we're that lucky out to there. have one of those um, <laughs> steam washing machines. You know, that just allegedly like destroys everything, kind of thing. right, like a home autoclave. That's so. No way, that's yeah. so fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, real quick, while we're, um, while, since we're all here now, um, we, I actually have a couple of, um, images to show. I've got some, some, um, oh, wow. Okay. Some pictures that didn't make it into a couple of the, um, the past, Ooh. um, okay. uh, slideshows. Yep. So I wanted to make sure that we highlighted those. Since you know it's still, I, we can still get. You know what's, you know what's really. I gotta say, you know what's gonna make me sad is that now everybody's gonna stop sp um, posting spooky Lego stuff. Like that's the right. end. Like, that's the end of the because everybody season. is so rigid about that. And I'm gonna keep posting spooky stuff, and I know people are gonna be like, Halloween is over, but I don't I was gonna care. Say, speak for yourself, man. I don't know. <laughs> No, I mean you know what I mean. The the yeah. the bulk of yeah. what we've seen over the month yeah. is gonna trickle away. It's just it's always yeah. the way it is. I'm um, not yeah, getting my, son, my Santa's I, I mean, elves out yet. Yeah, my my son is requesting that we that we keep the house as is for a while. So we'll we'll see. You should. Yay. I agree. Keep the spirit of Halloween in your heart all year long. <laughs> um, all right. So let's check out. Here we go. So this is from Alex23. This is his brother-in-law, who he recently got into Lego and has been helping Alex do his, uh, I, th I believe, helping him with his sorting and stuff. And he wanted to try um, doing this. I'm going to enlarge this a little bit. He wanted to try, Ooh, wow. uh, give, give this a try. So this is his, I believe, first mock. Um, and it's this was from the 16 by 16 Halloween scene. And he's got this great, like, there's, I see Batgirl and Scarecrow going on there. And it looks like a Minecraft jack-o'-lantern, yeah. like, guy up top, which is awesome. Um, I really, I think it's really fun. And then let's, I think there's another shot of it. Yeah, here we go from the other side. There's Batman as well. Oh, I didn't see Batman hiding out in the... Oh, oh, he blended he's in. Against the <laughs> he like literally blended he's in. He's in stealth Ooh, mode. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's on the left-hand hey. side. That You know, but that's Batman. He's not right. being able to blend in anything. That's right. Anything that's black or gray <laughs> hangs out in the shadows. Um, yeah, this is re I I love this. This is really fun and and great work. And I'm um, I just wanted to say, you know, we love to encourage creativity and challenge. Mm -hmm. And um, the fact that we have new people, you know, building new stuff and getting inspired is really great. And so thank you so much. Uh, Alex, uh, for sending this in on his behalf, and I apologize that I don't have his name, um, but yeah, there we go. If you're here, Alex. Yeah, if you're here, share it in, um, the, in the chat, and we'll mention his name. Okay, so this next one, so this is from this is from Stubot, who is a regular here on the chat, and this was his um, Halloween mosaic, and it's great because it has two, this actually has two parts. Um, so he did a traditional um, minifig mummy, like a minifig head as a mummy. 
Um, oh. And then, oh, wow. Um, yeah, it's really it's really cute, right? I love the macaroni tiles. Um, yeah. And and oh, all cute. that. It's Travis. Travis is his name. Thank you, Brittany. Said Travis. Uh, so yeah, that okay. was. I'm gonna go back here for a second. This was by Travis. Um, and congratulations and thank you for turning that in. Um, so, okay, so back to Stubot's uh, minifig head. Then, <laughs> got, um, and then he did like a more traditional uh, mummy style face in the same uh, in the same style. Like, you know, he just basically replaced the bricks and all the things. So I love the change. It's just re like it's after really they funny. read the oh, scroll, cool. right? That yeah, yeah. Wow. Um. And I love wow. that the eyes are the are oh. the um, the little gyoza dumpling. They're like little dumplings um, from yep. the uh, from uh, one of the the food sets. I can't remember now which one it came with. The but... Chinese New Year's. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is this Chinese New Year's set? Sorry, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So like little dumplings all in a in a, a little swirl there. And That's a great really, piece to use for eyes. What's really incredible to me is he's using angular offsets, and all the studs still line up. Yeah, yep, right? yep, yep. With those with those one buys going across the face. Yep. They they work the math works out just right. Yeah. Oh, because those are right triangles, right? That's really cool. <laughs> Very yeah. nice. Well the wow. one like the one on the left is a right triangle. Um pretty oh I see oh, sorry. Okay. And then this is okay, so this is from the dashing fox, who is Kim's husband. Um, and he, this was from the movie challenge from last week. Now I figured out what it was. I want to see if y'all can figure out what it is. Um, for the so that's a that's yeah. a good shot. But this is the one where where I was able to tell what it was. I I right. was able to pull it from this. So take a look and see if you can figure. I know what it, it is. Figure out. Hey, don't okay. wait, wait till I, wait till we yeah, see wait. the rest of the picture. Yeah, I can't see it yet. So yeah, there's three pictures. It's the third one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you've seen this recently. Second picture. Yeah, Holly, you saw this recently, I believe. We talked about this. We talked about this movie recently. Mm -hmm. Is is that the thing? Yep. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's the thing. It's the yeah. scene the where the guys the got. Yeah, yeah, where he where he goes and the guy's stomach opens and it's horrible and hands are missing and. Oh, the spider head should have been a yeah, real giveaway. Yeah, the spider head, and Pumped it's off. really... <laughs> well, it's just, it's really clever. I just love the, I mean, it's just, it's great. Yeah, it's, it's totally... Not, you it know, is... what's, what's so interesting is I, I don't think I had ever seen the thing, and then after watching Stranger Things, I see how it was, like, <laughs> a total ripoff, you know? Oh, uh, um, <laughs> Not Stranger a total things... ripoff, but there's, there's a lot of very similar design elements there. For sure. Oh yeah. sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, which is, but which the is, thing which is, is... Fitting. it was obviously inspired by like they even had a poster of the thing in the basement, you know, where they were where they were playing. Yeah, yeah. This is um so it's just so so fun. And then we yeah. watched Very good. last night and we noticed again the same sort of like uh like face opening mm. thing that's like you know, I don't know. Even the kids were kind of remarking on it because we've we've watched, and we also watched uh, the first episode of season two of Stranger Things last night. So we watched the oh. thing, Stranger Things, and Alien all within like a week. And the kids were like, "Wait a second. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of like. <laughs> yeah, there's there's no doubt that it was there was a lot of um, inspiration yeah. you know, yeah. for that. I mean, that was it was all eighties, right? Yeah. No, <laughs> or Alien. <laughs> Alien's a pretty suspenseful movie. How were they with the with the scarier parts Not even of Alien? It's suspenseful. Yeah. It's terrifying it. and Although we gory. watched, we 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 you know we've been kind of like working our way up to it. So we've been watching spook, you know scary movies for like a month solid every day, um, yeah. with a little bit of like comic relief in there. They're, they haven't all been scary, but um, definitely been working up to it because Vincent's been wanting to watch Alien since he was like five. <laughs> so, oh, wow. like, it's a scary <laughs> one. Yeah, it's like maybe when you're eight, son. So, um, yeah, so he's been waiting all year. That was the thing we were going to plan for Halloween was that he, we, he was finally going to get to watch Alien. So we've been working up to it. Um, but but we've been watching all the scary movies, kind of like mystery science 
theater 3000 style where we kind of I, I i can't help but do a little bit of like commentary especially on some of the effects um and sometimes like the really like over the top gory stuff just makes me laugh and i think the kids have kind of caught on to that like they now they kind of laugh too when it gets like ridiculous so yeah. um i like yeah, how like holly's when... like a uh, horror movie sensei and gradually conditioning her kids to these <laughs> <laughs> totally. and, and keep in mind they've, they've been raised on like a film since they were born so oh, right. you know they're a little bit desensitized anyway to like the scary stuff but the gory stuff like i don't watch slasher films i'm not into the gory stuff and so even i am like a little sensitive to that and so my daughter just kind of like looks away when it gets really gross and vincent's just you know, <laughs> um, and then sometimes we're trying to figure out like what material they might have used. Like it's we just we just have fun with it. And um, yeah, I noticed like last night when the when the little alien, the first scene of the alien popping out of the cavity and like crawling across the table, like all of us laughed at the same time. <laughs> awesome. So we had fun with it. They seemed to all enjoy it. No oh, fun, fun, yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah, it's um, it's it's. I remember. I mean, I just remember being a kid when that movie came out because that was in 1979. Yeah. yeah. So I would have been like, I would have been 13. Yeah, I was. I would have been like 12, and um, that was that. I just remember not being able to see it, obviously, because I wasn't old enough. But um, other people in my school had, and we, of course, kids. I got the blow by blow of like the entire movie. Right. Oh, um, no. So by the time I. I by the time I saw it, I knew. Yeah, this was this was the '70s. There was there was no such thing as no spoilers then. You just yeah. told your friends the entire plot of the movie, acting it out the entire time. That was just what you did. Um, well, there was no web to go and check out. Exactly, you know? like you only told one person, whatever. Um, I'll but, say that, uh, yeah, you're right. All the kids would act out every movie. The only movie in our neighborhood where we all took a pact of silence was when The Empire Strikes Back came out. <laughs> oh, okay. cool. Yeah. Because yep. because we were all, I mean everybody was so into Star Wars that we're like you cannot talk about The Empire Strikes Back if you go and see it and the rest of us haven't. Yeah. Which wound up being that, a good thing. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that was a good plan. Uh so okay, so I have a couple of other Lego things to share um while we are no. while we're legoing. Um I'm disassembling. Yeah, um yeah, do, do are you bat thing. winging? I am totally, I am 100% bat banning. Bat <laughs> from one black wedge plate, everybody. <laughs> uh, okay, so here I'm gonna do this thing here. I was, I thought I was gonna get this done before Halloween and we got too busy, so I gotta finish it like today. So I know we showed off our, um, we showed off our builds to the camera the other day, but I don't think that it really shows off the pieces um, as well mm -hmm. as actually seeing them in photographs. So we photographed our pieces and posted them up on Instagram. And here's the final photo of Richard's, which I think came out really, um, really, really great. Um, and again, you know, showing it to the camera here is, makes it difficult <laughs> and you can't do the lighting and all that kind of stuff. Um, so so did good. That mm -hmm. one. And then um, there's mine yeah. with the um, with the final uh, like lighting, and um, I ended up doing making some changes to the model a little bit, uh, mostly to the minifigure. That was the that was my big thing. I changed him to an all black outfit so that he would just be you know a silhouette. Yeah. And funny enough, I was going through my black. Oh, where did he go? I was going through my black. Um, <clears throat> minifig torsos and the only one i could find that was plain black that didn't have back printing was ironically the um <laughs> the halloween uh, t-shirt the black and orange was that from a shirt? Perfect. <laughs> i love i just love i love the front of that i love frankenstein wearing like a halloween t-shirt he's wearing a halloween shirt it works i'm really happy with the way the top lighting came out in this i think it outlines the piece you know the sections yeah. really nicely it, yeah richard lit it, it reminds really me well. of the uh it reminds me of the um you know the blue moon the full moon we had yesterday yeah, yeah we were just yeah. what we were tr kind of trying it's to give it that, that it's got that glow man that yeah. was so cool that made our night it's... just like walking in the moonlight last night oh that's so, so cool good. what was great in our neighborhood is when we were out <clears throat> so the sun went down behind the mountains we got the aspen glow and there was darkness 
and then the moon came up. So that was fantastic. We actually had a full moon rise right at the right oh, time. Oh, cool. Ooh, nice. Out and about. Right. Yeah. Um, we Didn't we one time ride, um, we, we rode Big Thunder Mountain one night. No, All the was, fireworks and, were well, going off. It was awesome. Is that what you're talking about? Well, I was in my memory. The moon was full, too, but maybe not. It's possible. I just remember. The one I remember, of course, is the fireworks. Yes, the fireworks fireworks were going off as we were coming out. So I also wanted to share an interesting Instagram. Um, See you later, Brickinista. Have a good visit with your friend. Bye. Um, Bye. So this... This person, uh, Corvus underscore Ariac, and if you're not following them, you absolutely should. They do tons of. This is a person who will not, who will still be spook, doing spooky builds after Halloween. So his stuff is. Um, sorry, I shouldn't say stuff. Their stuff is really. Uh, their stuff. I shouldn't say his because I don't know that. Their stuff is really amazing, um, and. You should check it out. And what's really fun is they also do um, tutorials on how they've done some of their stuff. So yeah, I love I this. Like, yeah, yeah, they've been on Brothers Brick a lot lately. Um, because, okay. yeah. Well, and uh, thank you, Joshua Steele. A, yes. You know, if you're liking the stream, please. Brick recently. We can wait for Sorry. cookie time for that. Yeah. If you're liking the stream, please. Do that thumbs up, hit that like button. Thank you, Joshua and Orange Bricks. I know people are, uh, are are posting about that in the chat, so I wanted to make sure and acknowledge that. So, anyway, here is this awesome um, oh, this thing. So they do these instructions. So you can oh. go up to their Instagram, and there are links. Um, the uh, and they do, and you can see how to build some of these things. There's just like parts list and everything. So. Yep, all the instructions right there on Instagram. Fun. And they've done, yeah, the hand coming out. There's this bat. Um, oh, the um, the Iron Throne is quite excellent. <laughs> wow. Were those lipsticks for the tips of the finger? Fingers? Uh, oh, on the hand? Yeah. On the hand? Let's Some take a look. Or something? Oh, they might. They are. It looks like it, yeah. Yep. Well, wow, that's a great shape. Yeah, that's wow. really cool. Oh, uh, that's cool. Nice. Oh man. Did you? Uh, hey Richard, did you add the yeah. um, candlesticks to your fingers on your Hellraiser? You know, I I didn't in the end. Um, I thought about it. I took the photo and then decided that um, I needed to tile over the base because it looked like I just plopped it on a base to hold it up, which is what I had done. <laughs> um, and then after taking the second set of photos, I kind of left it at that. But I yeah, still I I have the pieces good. sitting here, so I want to try it because I'd like to try that same kind of hand with the candles. I know. I, I know we, we, we discussed briefly doing hands, but I was, was kind of wondering like how different that would look. I love, I love doing hands in all different kinds of configurations. Well, Flynn, where do we have those candles? And I'll, I'll put... Uh, I'm not sure right, right now. Insane. Oh yeah, so here's more of their amazing stuff. But yeah, look, check out the pumpkin. The um, the face on it is so good. Um, um, and they've also did a they also did a spider and there's a coffin, and um, I love this. <laughs> it's so yeah. good. Oh. It's just really clever. Um, yeah, so um, definitely check their stuff out. What is that? P- is that two pieces? A T and a lightsaber. No, it's a, a that's a sword piece. It looks like. Huh? Oh, I hadn't seen that. Before. Well, let's see. Yeah, because yeah, there's we only two clips. The, right? um, I think we can see the. Nope. Sorry, I thought you could see the instructions, but it's not yeah, it's letting me. Yeah, it's a Kylo. Yeah, your Kylo piece done in gold. Oh, oh, oh right. Yeah, some <clears> of these colors are don't seem like official colors. Am I wrong? That one mm, might be like a render, you think, think maybe that one's a render. Okay, that's what I was. That's what I keyed in on with the fingertips because I wasn't sure if the if that was like if those were white or gray if it even came in that color with because I think right. the, the lips where the bottoms right. are gray but I don't think the tops of any of them are gray but I could be wrong I I was on the fence but then I remembered that those like those UCS sets they have a bajillion greebles thrown in there so you might yeah, see it's uh, weird. You never know. a wing or something um, <laughs> and ch- I, I love the, I gotta say I love <laughs> this now that's a real build for sure yep. but like what a great like what a clever 
construction. I think it's okay. Okay, so <coughs> gold is two pieces. All right, there you go. Yeah, so I couldn't get that. It's it probably uh, it's probably one of those like bars, like the wand piece, and then it's like the T. I bet it's a T. That's what I was wondering. Got it. Okay. Got it. So I, yeah, I just saw this. those um, mm. okay. those pins used, the pin the studs yeah. used for a candle okay. a couple of weeks ago. I think it's so it looks great. Yeah, I used that for. Um, my Dracula build candles. We do use that method. Um, you can't. Sometimes you can't see the seams. Anyway, you should check his stuff out. Um, or their stuff out. It's really cool and um and fun. So. Okay. Yeah, uh, Corvus Oriac, and I know um, uh, our hey. Queen of Links already put the links up into the. In there. Of course. <laughs> Uh, okay, there we go. Da ding ding. And we're back. All right, so we have, we got some some mail yesterday. We did. Did you? Some very, very exciting mail. I yeah, have to say. It was surprising. On Halloween, you don't say. We did. Yes. How fortuitous. Oops. Hmm. Oh, I did this thing again. I hate this. Here, I need to um, me grab a bowl to get see. some of these things. There we on go. The table. All right. So or are we just gonna put it on? Look, top? and we can actually move apart from each other, and we're not gonna pull the headphones out of our oh, out of each other's Crazy. heads. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So we got this package from Holly. We were very excited thank about you, this Holly. package from thank Holly. You, thank you, Holly. Ooh, you're um, welcome. It was a long time no. coming. The box had been sitting there for a while, accumulating things. And that wow. was like the one I sent you. Well, this is <laughs> crazy. Like... This this first thing I'm so excited about. <laughs> okay, so first thing we have is, this is from a quality product of Samsonite Corporation. Yo. We have these... Yes! Lego <laughs> gears. Oh, I've got that so... set. Yeah, zero zero one. That's mm. so awesome. Show the back of it That's too. Amazing. And then here's the back. It's so beautiful. I can't. Thank you so much. This is so cool. I'm absolutely gonna use these. <clears throat> I was gonna say, Richard, you must be over the moon to get those. Uh, I am. I'm gears. so excited. We won't tip too far because they'll all tip out. But look at them all pretty in their little spots. They each oh, have I know. Own it reminds spot. me when I was a kid, when I was um, I don't know, ten years old. I had a super spirograph, and yeah. it had like all of the gears and the spirograph. I had the love little spirograph. Places. I mean, has anyone yeah. ever not had a spirograph? Seems like. It's <laughs> <kind of happened. laughs> um, thank you. That's so thoughtful. And it's gonna welcome. go. I think the box will go on the set. And Richard, so, um, the Samsonite yes. stuff is is it's not ABS. It's acetate. Oh. So be careful. Yeah. Is it be, brittle? It is more brittle, and it has a greater okay. clutch. So just be a little sensitive when you're uh, putting stuff together apart. Yep. I'll be careful awesome. with torque. Thanks for the heads up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so we got a um, an awesome Coraline button eye button or pin <laughs> or badge, depending on what pin you call time. it. In time. Um, and I love this so much. This awesome mummy belt buckle, which oh, no way. when I actually start wearing a belt again, <laughs> I, know, <it's laughs> be, I will be absolutely wearing that. Uh, um, it's so cool. I love this awesome. so much. Um, let's see. We've got a couple. You know, of I had to books. make sure that Vincent didn't see any of this stuff, or else it wouldn't have made it <laughs> over there. Super mm -hmm. spooky! This is amazing. This is amazing. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna open the plastic bag and pull it out because you have to. So it's got. This is the Bananas Book of Photo Funnies, and it's a Scholastic book. Check oh, it out. Like you yeah. might be able to get this on the bookmobile. You would, yes. And this yeah. is. A um, <laughs> this was really popular. This was really popular back in the day. Let me see if I can. Um... Oh, look who's these in were the like, front. These were like the original memes. Look who's yes, in the front. Yes, they were. Very yeah. Front. yeah. Raw. Boo. <laughs> um, there's some good ones in there. So... There's like Star Wars ones, mostly monster ones, but there's. So this is okay. Now this one's actually the '80s, um, <laughs> and this was from 1981. 
And it was from, yeah, there was actually, there was a teen magazine called Bananas. And mm -hmm. this was like a, you know, an offshoot of that. And it's basically just like pictures of different, um, oh my goodness. It totally has Mr. Rourke oh. and Tattoo from Fantasy Island. And <laughs> which group is this? Is that Madness? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. It looks like maybe Madness, but yeah. And there's, and there's lots of, you know, like, hilarious... Um, Wait, is that Abbott and Costello? Yes, and here's the and... Marx Brothers, because, you know, the Marx Brothers were still very popular in the 80s with teenagers. Oh, right, yes, <laughs> of course. That they should be. I, it um, was kind of all over the place. Oh, the there. They had in there. Oh, here we go. This is the height of hilarity. Oh, my God. Spoiler alert. I know. Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> I have a big surprise for you, Luke. I'm your mother. <laughs> Hilarious. Because how do they come up with them? Somebody spent a lot of hours and got paid I know. a lot of money Genius. to come up with that. <laughs> well, yeah. This reminds me yeah. in... Around 76 to 80, I was really into Mad Magazine, and I had all these Mad Magazine books, too, that had similar humor. Yeah, but this um, one was Scholastic also, Safe, right? Mad, yeah, Mad well, God. that's true. Mad so. Magazine was not Scholastic Safe. And this one also, it also came with these awesome, like, stickers. Oh, wow. Yeah, those things are pretty cool. That's and they're awesome. Meant to, they're meant yeah. to be applied to, like, pieces of, um, like, jewelry or something or rings like you would get those are great necklaces and things that you could put those on and I super cool were... i thought you would save um, those for your time oh no sorry i we i'm just i'm so excited and i didn't open every single thing because no, we, we wanted there to be some yet. surprises so yeah. Um, yeah there's another time that's come okay so here oh, we go oh are we at that time we oh it's coming gone and oh, we better do that gone. yeah let's do that while we're paused so while the we're pause paused. doesn't get oh any pause goodness. on the pause. Okay, I'm going wireless. All right, everybody, here we go. It's that special time of the day that everybody's so excited about. Look who it is. Yay! It's Logan Cookie time. Let's get back onto our uh, okay. gallery view there. So, hey! Very cool. Hooray! Oh, we've got Hedwig cookie time. There's Skittles. Skittles cookie time. Oh, look. It's, it's And it's Mr. Meows. It's a Sir Meows a lot Sir cookie Meows time as well. Okay, can you catch this? Sir Meows a lot who was on Bobby Good. Brick yesterday. Yay. Yeah, Mr. Meows a lot was on the Brothers Brick yesterday, which was pretty Wait. awesome. Why did you and wake me from you. my slumber? I know. Oh, I was oh, sleeping Skittles. and I got a haircut and I have eyes now, says Skittles. Yeah. And thank you to the Hornburgers for these awesome Logan treats. treats. Yay! Hooray, Logan Cookie Time! <laughs> oh, Skittles. Oh, right. Skittles is having a Halloween you... hangover. I woke you up. So, all right. So back to the awesome, um, the awesome stuff in Hol in the awesome box from Holly. Yeah. How amazing to go to the post office and have this amazing box of craziness with a heavily, heavily leaning towards spooky. Um, okay, I'm not, I won't show the inside of this because there are some, definitely some things that maybe we don't need to show on here. But this is really oh, cool yeah. and a, I love it's it. It's a very scary book. Yeah, it's a little scary. So this <laughs> is, and this is actually from, this is Japanese. Um, magazine or book and actually there was one in here i did want to show because it's so terrible and we watched it the other night um but oh Ooh, Ameri i'm seeing american, american werewolf, werewolf in london, london. the um, fog uh, anyway but apparently this is the apparently book. yeah sometimes the japanese issues have stuff in there that you don't that like you've never even seen like stuff that's well, not even super wow. yeah. scary pictures and then this is the the back of it had or i guess this would be the front of it actually Ooh, the front of it dark side. has the tales from the dark that's side awesome. movie on it um which is cool did you look and... on the back where it says display copy did you notice that <laughs> on the oh, back no, cover. no 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 oh, yeah. the back cover it says display copy oh there you go 
the word processor. Oh, yeah, right there. That. oh yeah, display copy. All right. Oh, printed on it, right? Um, so check it out. This this movie, by the way, oh, we watched terrible. the other night, and man, you want to talk about a stink bomb of a movie? But it has and and well, first of all, it has Ernest Borgnine as the devil in it. Um, <laughs> which is he's awesome. Really? But it's called The Devil's Reign, and actually, like his. His Satan makeup is pretty awesome. That's it. that's it right there. I know it's not really in focus, but yeah. man, it, it is a terrible, terrible well, movie. And they, we might have mentioned this before because it was so terrible when we saw it. The um, not to be spoiler alert here, but the big effects scene for the climax of the movie lasts forever. They <laughs> used that. every bit of special effects goo that they could have possibly <laughs> bought. Yeah. And they had to use it all up by the end of shooting. Yeah, so on they that kept scene. pouring it in. Um, <laughs> okay, so check this out. This is, and this is awesome, and also looks like it's so, a Japanese release as well. But this is, it's a record, and you know how much we love records here. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. This. Oh, nice. Whoa. And this is like themes from horror movies, um, and it's got Tarantula, This Island Earth, Creature Walks Among Us, The Mole People, House of Frankenstein, um, it looks like Revenge of the Creature, now, and, and funny enough, a lot of these are in the puzzle that we're putting together right now, the one that Richard oh, got me for my birthday. That's what made me, yeah, I, I was thinking about that when I saw yeah, that. Yeah, Tarantula stands out. As yeah, a and then I don't want to tear the little paper but the 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 sanitized for your protection paper um on here <laughs> yeah. um but it's really cool and look at the weird look at that well first of all i love the font it is awesome yeah. right yeah. and then look at this like, <laughs> weird illustration on the back what is that? It's so <laughs> weird. but you gotta show that one again yeah what um, is that so show, right. show that little oh little, the little it's like some weird satyr font Yeah, he's got, what? like, the goat legs, and then he's got three eyes, and hanging out by a gravestone. And, like, dandelions. That's disturbing. That is... Yeah, really weird. <laughs> I love this, though. So it looks like it's themes from Son of Dracula, Incredible Shrinking Man, This Island Earth, The Mole People, House of Frankenstein, Horror of Dracula, Creature from the Black Lagoon, It Came from Outer Space, <laughs> Creature Walks Among Us, um, Tarantula, The Horror of Dracula... And the revenge of the again, it's like tucked behind this strip that I don't want to okay, remove. Bebo but... Bricks says it's called an Obi. Oh really? Oh cool. Oh really? Okay, there you go. Important. Oh, and don't OBI. tear the paper band. Those are valuable. No, no I won't. That's not, why I was not, not touching it. That's why I was like, I will. It will be a mystery what lives under here because i don't i'm not gonna but i love it. the the primary color art on there primary i, I thought it was gorgeous yes and, and then well this is so thoughtful or? it's like you know exactly who we are and then the the ps de resistance which is which was a um the product of a a, a judicious back and forth trading and gifting <laughs> experience <Friendly>. um, <laughs> The Lego Ideas Fishing oh, Shack! No so, so, oh, that's so, 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 good. I'm so jealous. Excited about this. It was the one Lego Ideas one that we missed that I was super, super sad about. Oh, um, and look, I didn't know. <clears throat> it opens up like a dollhouse yeah, it, in back. Mm -hmm. Yep, so it opens up. It has the opening dollhouse thing. Oh, my God. And what really attracted, to us, um, attracted us to it at the beginning is the ramshackle um, roof. Um, because ramshackle style is kind of how we started our whole Lego thing. Yeah, um, yeah. Is we started doing, you know, we started doing ramshackle stuff, and then when they came out with that, I was like, oh, they're like using it for real. <laughs> for real. <laughs> now it's for real. Well, I mean, you know, they're using it, it in a in legitimate a set. set. So, yep. so there you go. But yeah. anyway, th so thank you for that awesome box, Holly. Oh. You're welcome. That, that was that's, just wonderful, wonderful thing. Beyond cool. that's and I can't wait I think to make. One of those was crushed up in one of the thrift store lots I bought, and I want to restore it. What's that? The fishing shack. Oh, oh wow. it's such a beautiful yeah, set. Fine. It's a it's a beautiful, beautiful set, and lots of sand green. Yeah. Tons yeah, of sand it's, green. It's supposed to be a really great <clears throat> build too. Just really, you know, educational. 
Oh, good. I like that. I love educational builds. Oh, I Actually, love the... that was Adam Murkowski, I think, that designed that, which I believe is the <clears> same <throat> person who designed the Batwing. Pretty sure. Oh, very good. He did the haunted house, right? I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm almost positive. He did the haunted house, the fishing store, and the Batwing. I could very be cool. Hey, Claire R is here. Hey, Claire, how's it going? Welcome. Um, and golly, and welcome to anybody who's just joining us. Oh, and I should remind everyone because I keep forgetting to do this, but we are having a subscription drive for oh, yeah. um for the past like many months. Um, we're just trying to get to 2,000 subscribers because, just because. Just because. Like, um, not nice for any real reason number. other than because. <laughs> for our OCD, um, because it's a nice round number. Yes. But we are going to be giving away this Monkey Kid, Monkey King Warrior Mech set as a prize when oh, we hit 2,000 subscribers. And we we'll are... we the wheel um, at that point, right? Yeah, yeah. And we're not that far away. We're, get, like, I think 120 or 100 and something people out. So, uh, whoops. Anyway. Yep, so next time, bring, bring your friends. Here, yeah, so bring your friends and, uh, and, and get that prize. That's going to be a fun one. And, oh, you know what? So not only is it November 1st, and not only is it Dia de los Muertos, and not only are we having a Halloween hangover, but two other things that are significant about today. Today is our 150th episode. Ooh. So oh. we've come we've come a long way from uh, even just from a hundred episodes. My goodness. Um, so yeah, 150 episodes, and one year exactly one year ago today we were doing our first day of filming on Lego Masters. Oh my god. So we were doing um, we were we were showing them all of our our personal you know all of our clothes that we brought and we were like putting our on stage having photos taken putting our minifigs on the set and um yeah oh, all that yeah. stuff i remember it was so bright oh, we were the first ones in it was ago. so bright yeah it, it does seem like a it does seem like a, a really really lifetime time ago. ago so yeah today is a significant day for many reasons and um, you know what else is today oh What's gosh that? what else is today sesame street came out Oh, oh right. Sesame Street came out, of course. Uh, Lego News. I wasn't paying attention, but yes, there you go. Sesame Street set is out too. It's like we're going, we're going crazy here. There's all kind of stuff going on. Cuckoo bonkers. Yeah. So I'm going <laughs> I know. To the store. I'm going to the store later today. Oh, you are. Oh, you are. Yeah. Oh my it goodness. They have them in stock. Yay! Hey, thank, thank you, Kimberly. you, Kimberly, for your subscription. We appreciate that. Thank you. Awesome. I feel, I feel like there's Lego sets coming out every day now. It's so there, much. Really, there are. Yeah, there is a lot. There's a lot, and I think um, I kind of saw. I think John Latrell was saying earlier that also the reissue of uh, one of the idea sets, the Saturn V, also today. I think. Oh yeah. Actually, I think that's what he said. Yeah. He said yeah, he's actually yeah. standing. Yeah, John Latrell's yeah. actually standing in line at Stone Ridge. So. Yeah. I mean, if you already so, have, if you yeah. already have those, that's uneventful. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so let me see what else. Oh, so we ha so tomorrow is going to be kind of a fun um, live stream double whammy. Well, I don't know about the second one. Maybe not fun. <laughs> it'll be some. It'll be interesting. Well, it won't um, be unfun. It won't be unfun. Anyway. <laughs> So if you look back here um, behind Richard and behind the witch, you will see a building, um, the Empire Theater here. This, right, uh, build, this is a mock that we made um, to, for something that we had to do for Lego Masters, and it actually ended up not ever getting used. Um, so, um, or not really getting used. Yep. And so, and we haven't really been able to do much with it. And now we're like at the at the year point. Um, we thought that mm -hmm. tomorrow uh, on the show it would be fun to do a tour of our Empire Theater mock. Yep. And we can show you sort of like some of the some of the things that we did uh, that we were able to to put it together. It's completely modular. It comes apart in like four pieces. Multiple pieces. Multiple pieces. It opens. It has a whole um, inside with multiple rooms and uh, we paid a lot of attention to detail yeah. in that. So, And um, we were just 
we were just a, uh, we were just starting Lego Masters, and we poured a lot of effort into that. Yeah. For like two crazy weeks, right? Actually, less than that. It was it was more like a week. Yeah, less. we just it built, a, built, built, wow. built, built. Yeah, and so um, we were full of anticipation. <laughs> sure were. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, we thought that that would be fun um, to share that with you all because we haven't really been able. I did post some photos of it on Instagram a while back, like some of the interiors. Mm -hmm. um, and we actually did a tour of it when we first started streaming on, on Instagram. And of oh, course, yeah. there, and, you that. know, at the time there was only, you know, we, we didn't have a lot of people following us. And, um, but it got such a huge reaction on the Instagram stream. Um, that we thought it would be fun to share it with all of you tomorrow. So that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow um, at the at the 10 a.m. show. Um, yep. And that's be great. prepared, it's... hopefully. We won't make you seasick because I am going to have uh, one of our cameras be portable so that I can kind of move it around and put it inside and everything. So just be bring your seasick pills if you need to. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, and, um, and you guys haven't done Mock Mondays for quite a while, so this would be a really good chance to, to highlight. Yeah, we haven't here. done we haven't done a Mock Monday in a while, and then and then next week, next Monday, we are um, no, is it next? Yeah, next Monday we are going to have Yano. Uh, Yano is going to be here. Femme from the block, Yano River Blue is going to be here Yay. talking to us about stop action animation. And if any of you saw um, her animation on Friday, it was amazing <laughs> like, it, it, was it was incredible crazy. it was incredible and uh yano was the proud winner of this frankenstein brickheads which because she's well, local are. we're gonna try and do a uh, little a local local um, delivery socially distanced prize drop off so um so we'll that'll be t-shirt cannon um yeah <laughs> <laughs> we'll t-shirt cannon and shoot it Across, then hopefully we Brickheads, don't hit her Brickheads in the can. head with it. Ow, that would um, hurt so yeah, that much. That sounds painful. Lego cannon <laughs> sounds sounds so terrible. Um, so the uh, so we'll be talking. So that's the next two Mondays. But tomorrow on the um, on my Twitch show. So as you know, I I finished the Hogwarts castle. And I want to yes. show it to you all together, but we need to clear out. Um, Fab Max needs to find a home first, and then I'll be putting the whole castle out, and we can kind of show everyone. But it was an amazing build, like a master class in micro building. I, I have just, I felt, I feel like I learned so many tricks, especially for like towers, rounded towers, especially. And um, the uh, stained glass windows were just uh, fantastic. Mm. Um, but as you know, I started off that Twitch stream b essentially to build that, <laughs> and then um, I'm going to be building some other larger sets, probably going to be doing the NES on that show. Um, I have uh, Diagon Alley to put together, which we'll be doing on that show. But oh, I, and if um, you really want to go down a rabbit hole, you've got the Ninjago City docks. Oh yes, got Ninjago City docks, like um, we've got Batman Batcave, the 66 Batcave. Um, oh. To put together, so we got some big sets to wow. put together on the on the Twitch show. But um, tomorrow, I was going. Oh, you know, like I just finished this really huge build, and I kind of want to like, like I need a little break from that for a second. And then I was like, oh, I really want to do some sorting, is what I need to do. And I was like, does anybody really want to come and watch a sorting stream? And then I like looked around and like, there's like sorting streams like there's that's what yeah. a thing yeah, which is there's great there's another there's another lug for that now too yeah. sort yes lug. i know there's sort Friday. lug as well but i um so you should um but what i decided would be fun is i have from all the sets that we put together and like buying them and stuff we have minifigures everywhere and i have a minifigure like, like we have our minifigure storage system which i introduced and then never like did anything i mean like i did everything we had at the on. time yeah. um and it was great but um yeah so now and look you can see i've been gathering um i don't know if i can switch my camera here well i'll just show you yeah, but just like that this is one little tiny bit but i've been gathering ones from all the oh. different sets we've been putting together thunder i have thunder man <laughs> yeah the thunder man's in there he's in there 
Um, he's got, he's gonna go in the special section, but he has to be like I just what I did was I started going around the table like Thunderman was on the shark, and I just started pulling <laughs> all um, I just started pulling all of the um, minifigs I could find and just started compiling them from the different areas. So tomorrow on Twitch I'll be doing a minifigure mosh pit sorting session. So if you want to have a fun trip down, like just looking at a bunch of weird minifigures that I have, and I'm going to put away stories. Um, yeah, there'll be lots of stories. There'll be lots of fun. We can look. We can do close-ups of their of their looks and all that kind of stuff, um, if we want to, and look at their different props and stuff. But so that's what's going to happen on tomorrow afternoon, 2 p.m. PST on Twitch. That's tricky underscore bricks on Twitch. That seems like a pretty um, relaxed way to spend an afternoon. Yeah, it'll be a relaxing uh, afternoon. I think it'll be really. I think it'll be fun. And if you are also curious about how we store our minifigures or how you might store your minifigures, um, well, you know, we can have that discussion um, as well. I think so, if yeah. we do a deep dive in the house on minifigs, you'll be surprised how many. Oh, there's I, so many to go in there. Yeah, yeah. I this is, oh, so by the way, I know, like, I love, I love Thunderman um, riding the shark, but I'm also, <laughs> a, I set this up last night and I laughed. It was so, it was so silly. But I'm also a fan of like Thunderman <laughs> peeking cheerfully out of the jaws of the shark. Like he's not gonna let the shark eat him. He is like opening. He's up. holding the jaws they're open. Friend. <laughs> they're, they're friends. They're friends. They get along. They just. Pl- they're just playing. Oh, they're fun. It's just, it's but a, just a, a gentle hug from the shark. It's true. It is. It is. With it's its a gentle. <laughs> you know, like you know, like when you're playing with the dog and the dog like puts its mouth on you but doesn't actually close its mouth. It's like that. But it's a shark. Okay. But it's a shark. It's a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Go with that. Um. Oh, that's so sweet. If anyone's interested, Hornburger say Andrew wants to invite people to visit his Animal Crossing island while the Halloween decorations are still out. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. That's so fun. Oh, and um, also, too, speaking of that, did you see that Lego Dots made patterns for Animal Crossing? Um, yeah. I did a little... I, I did a, a link to it on our... Um, on Brothers Brick. And, yeah, I was looking at that going, wow, that's kind of awesome. So, did, you, did you know they had to issue a press release? Uh, because so many people thought that it indicated that uh, Lego was going to do yeah. Animal Crossing, you know, type products that they had oh, to release. So like that? Oh. They had to issue a release saying, no, we're only doing this. Yeah, we're only doing this. Animal Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> like, though, chill out, everybody. <laughs> I would have I come to the same, you know... I mean, maybe not a conclusion, but I, you know, I wondered too when I saw that. I was like, oh, is this a sign of things to come? Yeah, yeah. You know what? So we're gonna we're gonna read we're gonna read uh, all sorts of things into any little thing that we can. Yeah. Yep. Oh, so oh, you know what? I forgot to say back when I was talking about um, the uh, about Yano and doing the stop action, I had a little email exchange with Yano and as you know I've been long promising that I'm coming up with a, a Tricky Bricks theme song like an actual legit theme song and I was speaking with Yano about whether she would be interested in collaborating with me on a little stop action animation to go along with the uh, with the song with the theme song for the opening of the show um, for the opening of the show so um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that very soon we will have a our own personal um, original theme song with an original animation, uh, stop action animation to go along with it. That's Yay, fantastic. art with friends. I'm very, very excited. And I am I really want this um, has to be part of it <laughs> somehow. <laughs> like, it just does. Um, let's see. All right, well, let's see. Oh, so today, everybody, uh, don't forget that after our show is over, starting at um, noon uh, here on the, on the East Coast is um, the uh, some of the Lego Masters. Mostly it was Corey's brainchild. He put it all together. He did all the work. Um, and basically, it was just like, if you guys can just show up, that would be awesome. He's done such an amazing job putting together this kids' convention. Um, and I can already see uh, Kara is getting ready to find the links. <laughs> I can see her. I can see the, the glasses come on, and she starts wiggling her fingers. Um, 
So um, don't for uh, don't forget the, to check that out. There's going to be a line. No, um, Andrew Hornberger and a lot of so this is all kids and there's multiple rooms in with different age groups, um, and you can go uh, check all that out. Um, it's going to be fun. There's going to be some Lego Masters there, um, and I know there's a sign up, and I know people are still signing up and stuff. So. Um, Lana and Vanessa will be there for KidsCon. Very good. Yay. Yeah. Very, very good. Awesome. Oh, that also reminds me of uh, Creations for Charity. If you guys didn't get the memo in the chat the other day, uh, Creations for Charity is going through um, November. So this is the last month to go and donate or buy um, mocks is basically what they are. Uh, this year, there's also instructions available, including for the Coraline Brickhead, if you guys are interested in that. Oh, and cool. I Yay. I think I can provide, if you can contact me directly, I do believe I can provide a few of those um, custom printed Coraline Dragonfly hair clip pieces to mm -hmm. make a fully like custom Coraline brickhead. Um, Watch for the pink house behind you. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah that one I didn't donate. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. um, but yeah, check out Creation for, for Charity. There's there's a lot of really cool things on there. So um, and it's all for a good cause, and it's just a limited time. So don't yeah, forget about it. Many awesome. things too. And so yeah. yeah, if you're a fan of, you know, custom uh, mini figs, Futurama, or mm -hmm. there's a lot more Simpsons figs. There's also a custom Mr. Gold. Yeah. Oh wow. One of the millions like me who never got the gold. Um, Joel Marbella says success. He got Sesame Street. Oh, oh cool. cool! Congratulations! I am. Um, and hey to Lego Bricks and Tips BJ Pace. Hey, how's it going? We're doing good. Hope you're doing well, well as well. That always sounds so weird. As well, as well, as well. Also, um, doing well also. <laughs> is there more coffee? There is more coffee. Uh oh. There's coffee. Using my special birthday Mad Tea Party tea cup, my very very oh. favorite cup. Hooray, um, Mary. It, it has a Coraline Brickhead. First, first Brickhead was Coraline. Wow. That's cool. There you go. Um, oh, Ms. Slow Bricta ordered three Hidden Side sets this weekend. Buy up those Hidden Side sets, kids, because they're going yeah. away, and you're yeah. not going to be able to get any more, and you will be sad. And if you, even if you don't like them because you don't like the models, they are amazing parts packs. I have to say that's one thing... Um, that I've noticed a lot. And, Cause I was talking the other day about how, and Wes was actually talking about it when he was here on the show, is that they that Lego is really up to their game in, in complicating the models. And when I say complicating, I mean like making them more interesting and more, uh, you know, really interesting builds and techniques and all that kind of stuff. And detail. And because of, of that, yeah. yeah, lots of detail. And because of that, the sets are getting more variety of more interesting and new parts so yeah. um just by buying them you are getting you know there it's like it's a park it's a parts pack with all this kind of i mean like i know the um the uh thank you honey mm -hmm. i know that the um the hidden side uh uh bus fire truck fire truck the hidden okay. side fire truck came with a half two by two round brick with a hole in the top of oh, it. Oh yeah. Oh cool. So a two by two round brick cut in half, like this way. So it's only got two studs, yeah, right? So it's a shape. half circle. Oh. Um, really yeah. cool, and it's got a hole that so that you can you can still be able to put um, an axle. Now it doesn't have an axle hole like a regular two by two brick. It has a, just it's just round, but you'd be able to put a pin in it, it or would, whatever. It would allow an axle to pass, right? Um, Okay. Yeah, so that's it's a really cool it's a really cool new piece. So lots of reasons to buy some of these things. Oh, especially looking if you see up them on, on sale. B A P. No, I was looking at the comment that said they're Batwing. Uh, I can't. I don't know what that username is. It says Bat Batwing showed up yesterday, but the but the box was crushed. Good old you. Oh, oh yeah. that's I've had a bummer. I've had, a, I've had bad luck with boxes getting crushed lately. Um, in fact, I even got one of the. I finally broke down and got one of the uh, monkey. Kid, Monkey King, Warrior Mech, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that that was totally like that, and the gift with purchase were all just like obliterated. So uh, oh my Lego my store was kind uh. enough to replace those for me, and then um, my most icely Cantina also was had like a big huge crease in it. My Best Bins, the Best Bin 
uh, exclusives were all damaged. Like, whoa. Okay, so now the, crazy. But... No, so this is a here's a this is a good this is an interesting subject. Here's something we can talk about. Um, mm -hmm. uh, to what degree? I mean, now uh, obviously we all want our things to arrive in nice shape, um, the boxes and all that kind of stuff. Um, and also, too, sometimes a crushed box can mean um, broken parts, although I have seen that rarely. It does happen. And I will say, so you want to hear a really weird thing, and I haven't contacted them about it yet, but if you saw when I was doing the um, the Hogwarts castle, um, let me show you. There were... Um, Oh, now I don't know where it is. Anyway, oh, there, were some six, there were some 8 by 16 gray plates that were completely bent. I mean, like, Here. curved. Wow. Yeah, look. No. Oh, no. It, oh, came, no. it came in the box like that. And the thing is, the reason is because these, they had ones that were separate in another bag with the burps. Yeah. Then they had two of them, these, in with the plastic numbered bags. And it was the ones that were in the plastic numbered bags that were severely bent. And I ended up replacing them. Was it during uh, the summer? I, um, well, I mean, my birthday was in August. Yeah, but yeah, it, it wasn't... Well, no, because I've seen warped pieces like that. But it's like here in Arizona or Colorado. When the heat gets enough to where the plastic oh, gets yeah. a little bit soft... Yeah. Yeah. If they're if they have any weight on them, it'll start to warp them out of shape from the heat. Yeah. When they're, I mean, that's when they're in, the, a... in the trucks and stuff, but. But yeah, so a, so my nuts. question is though, um, aside from the aside from the um, the possible damage to the set inside, do you save boxes, and is it really important to you that the box be in perfect shape? Like I'll give you an example, like my Hogwarts box. Like I did save it because it's I, I like my my thinking is if it's a big enough set that if I got desperate one day and had to sell it, yeah. <laughs> I have the box because yeah. that's like a big deal to some people. But there is two tape mark tears on the back of the box, like where it tore the picture away. Like they're small, like about this big. But like but I don't a, care yeah. about that. Like that yeah. doesn't bother me. And I know maybe the person who might buy it if I get desperate, which I'm not planning to. Um, Probably not. I mean, I I figure I keep the boxes kind of for the same reason. Like if I were to sell it, like what what does it increase in the value? So some sets I don't think the box is really going to increase the value enough to really bother keeping them. Sometimes I keep boxes just because I like them. So some mm -hmm. of the boxes are yeah. really cool, and I just, like, the NES box is awesome. Like, I'm not getting rid of that. The piano box is awesome. Um, we keep ideas boxes, usually. Yeah, yeah ideas because boxes, they're really I, nice yeah, boxes. So kinda, it kind of depends. Sometimes it's because I like them, and sometimes it's for value. I always, I almost always flatten them, so it's not a, it's yeah. not a matter of, like, trying to keep them in perfect condition because it's just not feasible for me to keep all those boxes, like, not flattened. It takes up too much space. Um, but it it is also, like, proof of authenticity, you know? Like, if I were to buy a set, I want the box and the manuals just because, like, that that's, like, one less step for me to have to verify that it's actual Lego. Um, so that's another reason to keep them. For me, like, I just I just think of it as if I was a buyer, like, how, how that helps you sell it, if that makes any right. sense. Yeah. Right. Right. I am helping Corey today, so I do have to go soon. But I, okay. I'd like to just... Um, say that if it's an iconic uh, flagship set for me i i would i do flatten the boxes and i keep them and it would be nice to have them in great condition but it's mostly just because they're fantastic pieces of artwork to hang up every once in a while in your build space i do keep all the box i keep all the boxes um um for my son in case when he's older he wants to go back and kind of remember that too, yeah. You know his yeah. toy, his toys that he had growing up. Um, yeah. But not not so much for me, unless like it's a, uh, you know, like the Monkey Kid set. That that's like a flagship set. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, so that I would keep. Or that Batwing that Holly's putting together would be another one I would I would keep. Or a Lego Ideas set, or you know, something that you know is incredibly iconic and is going to be kind of one of those memorable sets that people would enjoy having. But otherwise, they do take up a lot of room, and and yeah, yeah. If they get damaged, I don't feel too bad about it. If the monkey kid one got damaged, I would have been 
on the back I probably, or in the front side, I would have gotten missed. But, um, you know, it's kind of like if the set's there and I can build it, that's proof enough that I've got it for me. Yeah, like for some boxes, like some bo boxes, if they're damaged, like if it's a superhero set or something, I'm probably not going to bother with trying to get it swapped out or anything. But if it's a collectible set, if it's a UCS set or... Yeah. A, um, whatever limited series said, like, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to try yeah. and get, and I'm not going to get heartbroken over how someone cut open a poly bag or anything like that. You know? yeah. <laughs> like, for us, yeah. sometimes a damaged I box really means we've got to, go no, yeah. no, you go car. Yeah, but I'm, say, I'm I, sorry. I, I, I do have to okay. leave early oh, today though. Bye, but, but bye, thank you so much. Bye, bye Michael. Always, we'll see you. Um, sorry, Moto. We'll see you there. Um, we'll see you there in a little while. Yeah, yeah, cool. And maybe some other folks. You never know, right? <laughs> yep, exactly. Absolutely. Right. Bye. 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 Yeah, Bye. I I don't the only reason I keep boxes if is is if it helps me to store the set as a whole. Otherwise it mm. just gets recycled. I I have absolutely nowhere to put boxes, um, even if they're flattened and I per, you know, I'm not gonna sell my Legos. I mean I don't I'll sell my stuff either, that's do so. That's the funny thing about it is uh, I always think of everything in the terms of resale, but I never sell anything. But it's yeah. just it's like just in case though, you know, you never it's know. Just, it's like a savings account, right? It it's is. like a little savings, a cardboard right. savings account. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I'm I don't, curious. I don't have the room for that kind. But of okay, so I'm uh, so I'm also <laughs> curious too. And Hooded One just brought this up, and you know we're talking about saving boxes for um, for large sets, and I will agree. Like um, he's asking uh, whether we think they should slow down on the amount of large sets that they're putting out. God, yes. <laughs> it would save me money. <laughs> I have to say that this, and, and it's, it's, I mean, I'm sure they, you know, obviously they've had, they had all this planned for a really long time, but it just came at a really unfortunate time when a lot of people really can't afford big sets right now. Yeah. Not everybody well, can case, afford this... to go have their 40th birthday on a private island and then tweet about it. But anyway. Yeah, this, this takes me back to like 08, 09, or especially 09-ish era, like when, um, you know, we had the big economic like recession and I unfortunately was having a baby at that time and also, or I was having a baby and then had just had a baby and then was all of a sudden unemployed and we had just bought a house and it was like the worst like economic situation for us. You could you could just about imagine, minus my husband also losing his job. So we were fortunate there that we could still like, you know, maintain our home. But I certainly couldn't buy Lego for the for like a couple of years there. I was really hard pressed to buy any sort of Lego, and and I still like look back on some of the sets that came out in those years. Like that was the beginning of like the modular series, so the Cafe Corner and the Green Grocer and that carousel that came out and the, and the imperial flagship like i can like i can list all those sets that i remember seeing and not being able to buy and being so heartbroken over it because we just couldn't afford it and i and i like i feel for people that i know are in that position now you know? Yeah. <laughs> like it just sucks like well yeah tiny. i mean it's been it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot yeah it's even worse now because i feel like it's every you know whereas there it was like a few sets a year now it's like a few sets a month or something it right? feels like it's so but, much yeah i mean i know much. i mean i know personally i know having um whoa personally i know having slowed down um uh, i mean having doing these uh news updates so i do the the weekend news report every week for the brothers brick and i go and i gather up like announcements of new sets and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I see them and I see the ebb and flow. And there were there was a series of months where every single one I was doing like links to seven to 10 different articles about either reviews or stuff about to come out or stuff, you know, um, like rumored to come out or not rumored, they never do rumors, sorry, I shouldn't say that, but um, things that were like gonna be coming out far in the future. And then the last, three weeks I've been scrambling to find anything. There's been yeah. a couple of like one or two articles because of course all of the stuff that's out for the holidays is now out. Yeah. Um, uh, and I'm just, right. Cause now it's officially the holidays, right? Yeah. yeah. After yeah, yeah. <laughs> November 1st is it's suddenly it's the holidays. Um, but, uh, 
uh, I don't know. I just it feels like there's a lot coming out and a lot um, that like we got the catalog yesterday and I was kind of like leafing through it and I was like this is insane. Yeah. Um, and I I uh, and I think it's hard also too because they're putting out all these really expensive set in a time that people you know a lot of people can't afford it and I'm wondering if that's going to have any effect on how long they wait until they um, retire the sets. I think, and I also think that there's going to be a delay too, you know, with like what production looks like this year, because we're seeing sets that have been in production for the last, you know, couple of years that are out now. So what production looks like now and like what they've been, what, how they've had to adjust their business model for the pandemic and stuff. Although I do think that Lego has relatively done fine through the pandemic, right? Like it seems like their sales are just keep going through the roof. So I don't see that they're affected as far as like financially but um, i know that there was a pause in production where they were um making protective equipment uh, mm -hmm. again i don't know like numbers wise but um if the sales do slow down which i again i think there's just this kind of delay of everything right like where maybe we don't really see what the results of this whole pandemic situation is for maybe even another year um like people right. that are on unemployment but then the unemployment situation changes or uh if things get worse like how you know we just don't know it's like a long-term game so it really just depends on how what their sales look like so if the sales do slow down then you know that's what's going to drive you know less yeah. production i guess more than anything right well so we'll i'm but i'm curious going back to the question about retiring like it's it seems kind of arbitrary like what retires and when and i'm just curious like you know if they've got a whole warehouse full, I'm not saying they do but i'm saying if they have a whole warehouse of nes sets obviously they're not going to retire it right away right like there's gonna there i mean i imagine I mean, there has to be some to thought i mean that. most things stick around for at least a year a year or two even for most yeah. right. sets. unless the well, only the only reason they they would retire something is if so it's a, when they retire something, it basically just means they're not producing anymore. They've just stopped producing it. So right. they don't really stop producing things until the demand slows down. So as long hmm. as things, it's only it's only when you start to see things that are sitting on the shelves a little bit longer that then you can kind of guess that they're probably going to stop producing it. But they're not going to stop right. producing it when things are are like selling out. So I wouldn't worry. You know, I know, I know there's like this panic buying that's been going on all year, it seems, where I think they're just selling out overnight. And I think it's just because people assume that there's some sort of limited supply. But well, I, as, I, as long as they're flying off the shelves, they're going to keep remaking it, I think. Well, but, but also, too, let's like, let's be real, though, too. The, the, you know, fans of any kind of particular item, whether it be Lego sets or tennis shoes or whatever myriad number of things that people are into collectible um you know statues or whatever there is a percentage of people who will go out and purchase that thing on day one because yeah. they have to have the thing on the day one not necessarily because they're afraid they're not going to get it later but because the collector the collector's mind yeah. works in that yeah. way right like i right. i there was zero need for me to purchase <laughs> The, um, the Diagon Alley when I bought it, which You're was right. like the second day it was out. Except for it was, <laughs> it was my birth, except for it was my birthday money from my parents and yeah. points, yeah. which I treated them for. It was but special money. It was special money, but still, I'm just saying, like, I didn't, it's still sitting in the closet. I didn't need to buy it four weeks ago or five or six weeks ago. No. Like, I could have waited until it was double points and bought it then, which I didn't do, which was dumb. Well, but yeah. People <laughs> wait in line overnight to be the first to get a video game, though, too. Yeah, or, I mean, that's the yeah, thing, I don't right? Do, I'm not that type. I, I, tend, I tend to wait for almost all sets. The only, There's been, like, unless it's kind of, yeah, unless it's for a holiday, which I would consider your birthday, like a holiday. So there are things that I'll buy for Christmas or things I'll buy. Like, I bought the Batwing to build for Halloween. Like, there's, you know, there's the seasonal um, drive to have certain things. But for the most part, like, I tend to wait until I can almost guess that something's going to retire before I buy it because it's so hard to keep up. I feel like I'm buying, I'm trying to like get all the sets that I feel are going to retire this year to, to yeah. start buying all the things that are just coming out. <laughs> it's impossible to keep up. Well, and I mean, and also too, like in, in 
in the reality, most sets, not all, most sets will eventually get marked down before they go away entirely. Not sure about that. I've seen a few, a few of them have actually slipped through my fingers because I've been waiting for them to get marked down. And then they never. Oh no! Like, I didn't say all. I said yeah. I said most, and they and I don't even just mean through Lego, but I'm talking about like via Amazon or Target or Walmart yes. sale or yes. whatever. Like so the, um, ones, so the ones that I can I tend to grab, like as soon as I start to catch, like if I kind of consider the timing and then paying attention to like stock and stuff like that, the exclusives are the ones I pay most attention to. Like what they consider the Lego exclusives even though they're not always exclusive to the Lego store, those are the ones that don't always get a discount and tend to disappear sometimes without warning. And so those are the ones I kind of have to watch closely. The rest of it, I don't care about. Like I'll get it at discount or secondhand or whatever, but the exclusive ones are sometimes the hardest ones. Yeah. To get well, when, I mean, you know, to time. <laughs> I mean, I never thought we would have that. We would ever have an NES and I'm so glad we have it. Yep. Yeah. Um, thanks, Lego, <laughs> for that. That was my, that was my yeah. birthday present, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. things that get us to buy sets, um, Hooded One bought the child for the VIP keychain. Um, yeah, see, I got the, um, I got the, um, the UCS A-Wing, which has been out for a while, and that's probably going to retire either, if not this year, then probably middle of next year, maybe. So it's been, well, I guess it hasn't been out that long. It hasn't been out a year yet. So it'll probably be around a little bit longer. Mm. Well, it's uh, funny too, because that. now, and you know, now we're seeing them re-releasing ideas sets. Which don't, eat, that triggers me so bad. Don't, let's not even go there. <laughs> but no, well, I'm saying, they're, so they're re-releasing right. those. And then if you look at like, um, at Ninjago, Ninjago just did like, I don't know, a couple cycles ago, a whole series of redone sets that they had already done years before, but they called them like legendary sets or whatever, but they were basically the same set with a couple of upgrades. That's um, and it was, re I thought that was really, I thought that was very strange. Well, it worked for Disney <laughs> for decades. I guess so. I mean, I get well, but... it. I get, you know, people miss out on things and they're happy, you know, for the re-releases, but it's like, you know, yeah, like... what are they re-releasing yeah. instead of offering something new? You know, that's, that's especially for ideas, right? Like what a kick in the shins to like say, no, we're not going to make, you know, something new, but now we're going to re-release these two other things we've already made. Not one, but two things we've already like released. It just really. Wow. That makes me mad. Yeah, I, I, I understand. I understand. <laughs> makes me mad. Oh, Moraine is saying the SDCC Wonder Woman is still available at Walmart. Oh, oh man, wow. I wish I had the nerve to go to a Walmart, but um, I you order online. Just it's, a, it it's, yeah. it's far away. Anyway, that's but, what I mean. Uh, I mean, you know. yeah, yep, yep, yep. So actually, that's probably, we should probably wrap it up here because um, I also have to go uh, help out with Corey's uh, convention. We're going to go check it out. And I hope that all of you do too. The Kids Con, it's a, a really, really great way because, you know, there's a lot of um, conventions that don't allow kid builders which I was actually really, really surprised about because we do, yeah, um, when at we Bricks by the Bay, up. which is our home convention, it's always been kids are welcome. And well, so and I Bay was- Lug too. And Bay Lug, too. And yeah, mm -hmm. and, our, and our Lug is kids too. So I was always so surprised um, to find conventions that don't allow kids. Um, so um, very, very, um, very, very exciting about, uh, 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 very excited about this and to give a, the kids a chance to to, to show their stuff so and oh, SD, a bunch SD. of our a bunch sorry, of our tricky SD, luggers oh, there, sorry. yeah a bunch of our tricky lugger people will mm -hmm. be there well, the zacardi girls will be there uh andrew hornberger will be there uh Got so the yeah there'll be definitely chances to go check out uh what other people have done so thanks for joining us thanks for our one post candy Sunday afternoon. Post candy meltdown. Sunday morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ruff, 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 ruff. Melts in our minds, <laughs> not in our hands. Um, all right, everybody. So be sure and join us tomorrow at 10 a.m. where we will be doing um, a breakdown, or not a breakdown, but we'll be doing a tour of our Empire Theater mock, uh, which I'm really super excited to show you all. Oh, okay. um, uh, there's lots to see. <laughs> um, and then tomorrow afternoon on Twitch at 2 p.m., I'll be doing the minifigure mosh pit sorting session. 
Um, so that should be that should be a good time too. Looking forward to that. So um, and thank you, uh, Holly and Kara and uh, and Moto uh, for coming on and uh, and hanging out. Thanks, Kevin Thomas, so much for liking the stream. Holly and thank Hi. you, yes, Holly, for the thank awesome you so much box of. Mm -hmm. Awesome box of awesomeness that I'm super awesome excited box. about. Um, and uh, until we see you tomorrow at 10 a.m., be sure to stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, get your flu shot. <laughs> and, and it's like a whole like I know. pokey pokey like hand the list gestures isn't getting now. Longer. It's, <laughs> um, and we <laughs> sorry. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, hey guys. Turn yourself around. <laughs> <laughs>